Welcome to this YouTube channel. In this video we are going to talk about top 10 dangerous sea creatures. So before starting this video like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel for future updates. According to the Earth Institute at Columbia University, scientists know more about space than they do the ocean. Therefore, the majority of the creatures lurking below the surface could almost pass for extraterrestrials. Approximately 91% of them, according to researchers from Dalhousie University in Nova Scotia, Canada, are still unknown. Of the roughly 235,000 species that we are aware of, many have evolved unusual camouflage, bioluminescence, and mating behaviors in response to their environment, giving rise to some incredibly bizarre appearances. Number 10. Peacock Mantis Shrimp The peacock mantis shrimp is a candy-colored crustacean that can quickly punch prey with its front two appendages. It can be found in the Indian and tropical Western Pacific Oceans. The International Ocean Preservation Advocacy Organization Oceanic claims that this shrimp has one of the swiftest movements in the animal kingdom, one that is powerful enough to shatter the glass of an aquarium. But don't worry, they mainly just use their steel fists to crack open mollusks and chop up crabs. Number 9. Pink See-Through Fantasia The pink see-through fantasia, whose name sounds like a piece of sexy underwear, is actually a sea cucumber that can be found 1.5 miles under the surface of the Celebes Sea in the western Pacific, east of Borneo. The curious sea cucumber, which was only identified in 2007, has a survival strategy that suggests long evolutionary history, it uses bioluminescence to fend off predators. The transparent skin of the pink see-through fantasia, which makes its anus, mouth, and intestines all visible, is how it gets its name. Number 8. Frogfish. Because these anglerfish, there are over 50 species, resemble their surroundings, which are primarily coral reefs, the frogfish is very easy to miss. They come in just about every color and texture imaginable and resemble sponges or algae-covered rocks. Even some frogfish employ their camouflage to imitate poisonous sea slugs rather than to conceal themselves. No matter how different they may look, frogfish species all share a peculiar way of moving around. Even though they can swim, the majority of them walk along their pectoral fins, which have developed into limbs that resemble arms and even have an elbow-like joint. Any fish classified as a frogfish belongs to the Lophiiformes orders Antenoriidae family of anglerfish. In Australia, members of the unrelated family Batrachoididae are referred to as frogfish, but Antenariids are known as anglerfish there. With the exception of the Mediterranean Sea, frogfish are present in practically all tropical and subtropical oceans and seas. Number 7. Ribbon Eel The ribbon eel, also known as the leaf-nosed moray eel, inhabits Indonesian waters from East Africa to southern Japan, Australia, and French Polynesia. It is typically found snuggled into burrows along coral reefs. As they mature, the juveniles change from their initial black and pale yellow fin strip coloring to a vibrant blue and yellow pattern. These eels are referred to as protrandic hermaphrodites, which means they undergo several changes in sex throughout their lifetimes. The ribbon eel is a fish with long, thin fins that resemble the high dorsal fins of a mythological Chinese dragon. The enlarged anterior nostrils of the ribbon eel make it easy to identify it. They are well recognized for their distinctive jaws, which frequently open quite widely in response to an approaching diver. It is usually believed to be a protandric hermaphrodite, initially male, then changing sex to female, however this has not yet been verified, based on observable color changes. There are no known examples of color change associated with sex transition in any other moray eel species. In adult males, the black is replaced by blue, while in adult females, the color is either wholly yellow or yellow with some blue to the posterior. The supposed youngsters and subadults are jet black with a yellow dorsal fin. The larger yellow females can grow to a maximum length of 130 cm, while the blue adult males are between 65 and 94 cm, 26 and 37 in, long, 51 in. The color variations in captivity are unrelated to sex or maturity. Number 6. Frilled Shark One of the sea's gnarliest-looking species is the frilled shark, Chlamydocelicus anguineus. Because the prehistoric creature's roots date back 80 million years, it has the appearance of an ancient beast. The frilled shark gets its name from the frilly shape of its gills and can reach lengths of about 7 feet. Despite having the term shark, 
these creatures swim in a very eel-like, sinuous manner. They typically consume their prey whole as they primarily eat squid. The two species of frilled shark are found across the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans, typically in the upper continental slope and outer continental shelf waters, where they typically reside close to the ocean's surface and in close proximity to ecosystems that are biologically productive. The frilled shark engages in continuous vertical migration to feed at night at the ocean's surface on cephalopods, smaller sharks, and bony fish. The long, flexible jaws of the frilled shark, which are armed with 300 recurved, needle-like teeth, are used to lunge and bend like an eel to seize and swallow whole prey. Number 5. Christmas Tree Worm. The Christmas tree worm was appropriately named by scientists who discovered it near Lizard Island in the Great Barrier Reef. The worm actually lives in a tube, but the spiral branches represent its breathing and feeding mechanisms. Radioless, which resemble hairy appendages, cover the tops of these tree-like crowns. These are used for breathing and catching prey, but the Christmas tree worm can withdraw them if it senses danger. Divers and marine aquarists are interested in the worm even though it is not important for commercial fishing. Worm crowns come in a variety of colors, and sport divers love to photograph them underwater. Many hobbyists with miniature reef aquariums include the coral heads that S. gigantea specimens live in on purpose. Number 4. Box Crab. The box crab is an expert at disguising itself, just like many other sea creatures. The crustacean, which typically stays on the seabed, buries itself beneath the sand in this instance, only allowing its eyes to peek out from the murky depths. The mating habits of the box crab, which literally redefine what it means to be swept off your feet, are one of the most fascinating aspects of its life cycle. When a mailbox crab finds its mate, it grabs hold of her and drags her along the ocean floor until she sheds her shell. The brown box crab, Lophilithodes foraminatus, is a type of king crab that can be found from San Diego, California, to Prince William Sound, Alaska, at depths of 0 to 547 meters, 0 to 1,795 feet. It can grow as long as 150 millimeters, 5.9 in, in its carapace and feeds on bivalves and debris. It often lies buried in the sediment, and two foramens in the kelepeds allow water into the gill chamber for respiration. The gill chamber is also sometimes used by the commensal fish caraproctus to hold its eggs. Number 3. The Squid Worm. During a 2007 expedition in a remotely controlled vehicle about 1.8 miles down, scientists from the Census of Marine Zooplankton made the initial discovery of the squid worm. The fish's name comes from the ten appendages that stick out from its head and resemble tentacles. These are used by the squid worm to gather marine snow, or debris that falls from the open waters above. The squid worm, also known as Tuthododrilus sami, is a type of acrocerid marine amylid worm. It swims freely and is found in the deep sea water column between 2039 and 2912 meters, 6690 to 9554 feet. It can reach lengths of up to 9 centimeters, 3.5 in, and widths of up to 1 centimeter, 0.39 in, and feeds on marine snow. Its 10 squid-like appendages that protrude from its head gave rise to its name. It was found in 2007 in the benthopelagic zone of the Celebes Sea close to the Philippine Tai Tai Islands. In the genus Tuthododrilus, it is the sole species. Number 2. Giant Isopod. These creatures, which are native to freezing, deep seas, may get rather big. In 2010, a remotely controlled underwater vehicle found a massive isopod that was 2.5 feet long. These carnivorous crustaceans, which somewhat like enormous woodworms, typically eat dead animals that wash up from the surface of the water. These creatures are still mostly a mystery after being discovered in 1879. However, it's thought that the pressure at the ocean's bottom is what causes huge isopods to grow so big. Number 1. Nudibranch. The nudibranch is a particularly adaptable kind of sea slug, with over 3,000 distinct species currently known. From the North and South Poles through the tropics, these little fellas may be found pretty much everywhere, in both shallow and deep waters. There are two main types, Dorid nudibranchs, which are smooth and have gills that resemble feathers on their backs to aid in breathing, and Eolid nudibranchs, which breathe through serrata, a separate type of breathing apparatus that is also found on their backs. The small nudibranch doesn't have a shell, therefore it uses colorful camouflage to defend itself and serve as a warning. 
The ability to literally consume, digest, and reuse stinging cells from prey is possibly their most bizarre adaption of all. What do you think about this video? Do let us know down in the comments section below. If you enjoyed this video and want to hear from us again, be sure to hit that subscribe button before you go.